worry na walang dumating. I found out na isa lang palang distributor talaga. Who told you that? Nagtanong-tanong po ako around. Nagtanong ka doon sa kay Aling Bebang, doon sa kalye. Sino ang tinanong mo? Ang, ang back po ang naatasang mag-check po ng lahat ng yan. Ha? Nag-advertise nag kasi po, sir, nobody responded. And then within seven days na wala po namang dumadating o interested. So you sila lang something? po. Ano yan? Sir, pasensya ka na. Kasi I was gagging Congress and I hope I can sleep tonight. Just a short statement lang, sir. If I may. We are, uh, is it on uh, point? Um, maybe not related, sir, but uh, kanina, sir, I was a stop, sir, doon eh. Gusto ko lang sumagot. No, because... le, le, let me just finish it. Yes, sir. Pa you, you're kanina, you're sir. not gagged here. Are you saying we're gagging here? No, no, sir. Kasi I was supposed, sir, I'm not... Kasi I had a bad experience in the lower house, sir, eh. and that's the no. reason why... That's the lower we... house. This is the upper house. They're known as the big house. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I expected a different uh, approach, sir. Same no, no, no. Sir. We, we, we're going to call you. Uh, thank just, you, sir. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this. You have seven days for advertising, right? Yes, sir. An issuance of available building documents from first day of stage one until stage five. Then you have the pre-bid conference, right? I'm sorry, sir? Pre-bid conference. Yes, sir. Ah, what are the thing? Do you have a request for clarification or supplemental bulletin? Do we need to do that? May, may dumating po, Swilig. Isa lang po. Yeah. Yes, sir. Kung isa lang ang dumating, anong procedure lang? We, we can proceed. You can proceed. You don't need any With other permission from any other agency? No, sir. Our back proceeds with the procurement processes in accordance with the processes set. Anyway. Uh, Mr. Chair. Let, let me just finish this, okay? How long did it take you to uh, finally decide that it was willing? You made your honor to the notice of award? Yeah. For a, From the time you bid it out, how long did it take you? Uh, 41, 41 calendar days, and we have tabulated it, the procurement law, the minimum is 28 calendar days. I'm not asking about it. It took you 45 days? Yes, Your Honor. When was, when was it finally awarded? When is the notice of award? All right, let's uh, make it simple. It's March 8th, Your Honor. Just submit all the documents from back dito at we will analyze it. All right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. My apologies, Senator Gordon. My apologies also to Hilton, but no just more, had... No more. Just go ahead. Get yes, direct sir. to the point. Yes, sir. Sir, the, the problems sir, emanated from conflict of interest and it is a situation where there's divergence between an individual's private interest and his or her professional obligations. Granting that uh, Dr. Lam did not vote, but he's a member of the FEC, and his knowledge on economy and cost effectiveness will actually be influential in the decision making of the Secretary of Health. In fact, I saw in the newspaper and the media that that particular data was used actually to procure the vaccine at 3.5 billion. So I'm not an economist, but what I'm saying here is the conflict of interest. And this is the main reason why are we are here. That's all, uh, Your Honor. Okay, John. Uh, Mr. Chair, regarding the issue of uh, the conditions set, set by the formulary council and who knew about it and when, 
So our letter to Secretary Garin was dated uh, February 1. Uh, but they remember there was a meeting on, in, on, in February 3 called by the Secretary, uh, calling everyone to the meeting, the formulary council, but their other parties were also there. Uh, Who are the others? The, the programs, uh, PCMC, and we read, we read our letter to, to them. So everyone in the room heard about the conditions. And was there any heartburn? Somebody complained, why do you have all these conditions? There was, right? There was, right? Yeah, yeah. Sino uh, yan? I remember there were some, some, uh, some, do some doctors, uh, I, don't re I don't recall their names, who were objecting to the serological test, saying that it was impractical and expensive. You cannot remember who they are? No. Were they USEX? I, I think these were the, the, the scientists involved in the, in the study. I can't believe that you can't remember. Maybe you should ask your colleagues if they can remember. I remember there was a big debate there. Sir, that was not a formulary meeting. I think it was a special meeting called by the Secretary of Health, specifically for uh, uh, the formulary and other stakeholders to be able to talk with each other. And that's why we, we, oh. we do know that, uh, I wasn't in that meeting, but we do know that it was presented to the stakeholders. We will get back to you uh, exactly, sir. What was, was present. presented? So we, we present. You, the conditionalities? Yes. Uh, yes. I know I don't know. Impractical. Tatagal. One, one was the serologic testing. So there were objections to which, which test to be used and uh, the cost of the cost of the testing that it might be even more, be more expensive than the vaccine. Did you feel that the objection was based on scientific grounds or on the fact that it's going to delay because they wanted to set, to buy it already? Uh, I, at that time, I was not was not in a position to argue with that because I, I I'm not a, a infectious disease expert. But what do you think caused the, the heartburn? Alam nyo na nagmamadali nun, di ba, by that time, alam nyo na? Yeah. May pressure na sa inyo eh. Yeah, so at that time, we, uh, <coughs> we laid down these conditions and, and we asked for uh, a slower implementation and also to, to, review, to review the price because we, we also felt that the price was, was too much, you know. But uh, at the end of, by the end of the meeting, we, we were not listened to. Isn't that serious? You have to have these conditionalities. The price is too much. So I'm sure you can remember who these guys were. And, and we also I, will, I will give you time, and I will call you again the next meeting. But before that meeting, I want you to remember, ask your friends, kung sino yung mga taong yon, para matawag natin sa next meeting. And, and we also presented data about the uh, efficacy of the vaccine, saying that it was, it was very low compared to yes. other vaccines, yes. Yes. Go ahead. <coughs> I hope you don't mind. I have to. I've not had my breakfast and my lunch, so. And tuloy tuloy na kami sa session. Eh. Okay. Normally, I don't eat during the hearings. Go ahead. <coughs> so, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair, we, uh, in the formulary council, we try to predict uh, what will happen to this group of 800,000 children who were vaccinated. Um, as we know, the the efficacy and safety will be different whether whether you have been exposed zero positive or not exposed zero negative. So, uh, using uh, one of the studies in Cebu, uh, we will assume that 80% of the population is zero positive. So, about 670,000 will be zero positive. In the zero positive, uh, the vaccine is more effective. Uh, the efficacy is 82%. So, about 550,000 of those children will be protected. Uh, on the other hand, 122,000 will not be protected. Uh, of these, no, some, some will just get subclinical infections, some will get mild infections, but about 20% of them will be hospitalized. Again, no, if they're hospitalized, it doesn't mean that these are serious, uh, severe infections. So some could also be mild infections, but uh, the patient or the doctor might choose to hospitalize them. Of these hospitalized, about 20%, uh, or about 5,000 people will be hospitalized uh, over, over the next five years. No? 
this is for the group of zero positives. Uh, if you look on the other side, uh, the zero negatives, it's just 20% of them. But the efficacy, the protection, is much lower. It's only 52%. No? So it's only about 90% no, who will be protected, and about 78% who will not be protected. Uh, among this group, uh, about maybe a third of them no, will be hospitalized. No? If you notice, the hospitalization rate for the zero negatives is much higher than for the zero positives. And uh, the severe dengue cases is also slightly more. Uh, so net, uh, about 76% of the of these children will be protected. Now, most of them from the zero positive, some from the zero negative. 22% will be unprotected. Uh, comparing the zero negatives no, with the zero positives, there will be about 2,600 cases, additional case, additional hospitalizations. Uh, just because of the fact that they are zero negative and were vaccinated, and about 1,004 um, additional severe cases. Next slide. Uh, so last last Friday, uh, uh, Sanofi also pre made a presentation to DOH, and uh, we look we looked at their data again. Next slide. Uh, so they were saying that um, the the serious effects were actually quite quite rare, not two to five per thousand individuals. Next slide. But when we did our own calculation, uh, it looked like it was much larger, no? two to five per 100 individuals instead of per, per thousand. 